Ayan po. Um, again, pag-uusapan po natin today is how, um, situational performance management. How to manage um, your team as much as possible. Ayan. Ito yung mga techniques uh, and the right approach on addressing a certain behavior of your uh, member of the team. Right? So, this is about, about <clears throat> how to manage your team. Okay? So, yan. Um, let me open the slides really quick. Okay. Um, five. Right. One moment. Ayun. So, slides are here. All right. So, yesterday, we talked about the root cause analysis. You can see root cause analysis here on the lower right side of the screen. Um, it's there because um, magkadugtong po kasi ito. After root cause analysis, which is our video yesterday, uh, if you don't know about it, check out the video yesterday nasa YouTube po. I'll upload it in Facebook also. Um, check out root cause analysis because it's the very, uh, it's the most important part. Ito yung start talaga ng process na ito about coaching people and um, coaching it, uh, coaching your team, teammate, um, coaching your members and um coaching it the right way. Importante po kasi yan. Why are we talking about this? It's because if ever uh, we approach um, our employee using the wrong strategy, hindi po effective ang pag-uusap natin and it might cause, uh, it won't solve issues and uh, hindi po natin ma ma mamimit ang desired business results natin. So, unang-una po sa lahat, whenever there's a problem, you have to analyze the performance. Analyzing performance. Analyze what the problem is. Dalawang side po kasi ang problem. There is a skill side of the problem. So, hindi siya marunong. Or, merong will side ng, uh, ng isang problema. Or, hindi siya motivated. Marami po yung will issues na yan. Will meaning unwilling siya gumawa or bakit ba ayaw niya marunong naman siya but it's a will issue siguro demotivated may problema sa bahay ganito ganyan so how do you approach it okay so um our desired uh, we have to have a desired business result right for example um let's say it's a cell phone manufacturing company that you have okay so our desired business results is we have to be very productive every day so we have a quota on our production and um, ayun, um, let's say a desired business result natin per employee, required behavior natin per, per employee is an employee has to finish, let's say, assembling 30 cell phones a day. Okay? So now, that is our required behavior. It has to be measured. It has to be clear to the people. Minsan kasi isa yan sa, isa yan sa uh, problema, hindi clear instructions natin. So, and then po yan sa skill. You don't have clear expectations and feedback. Right? So this is important. Baka hindi clear yung expectation. So you have to be clear. Our required behavior is 30 cell phones assembled every day per employee. So let's use that as an example. Okay? Now, his current performance and behavior is important. Right? So if ever hindi niya na meet your required behavior, yung current performance behavior niya mababa, then there's a problem there. Now we do, we investigate what is causing the problem. Okay, that's why we do root cause analysis first, so that we will know if it's a skill issue or if it is a will issue. For example, right? So a little rundown at the situation. Okay, employee si Juan, right? Si Juan ang natatapos niya cell phone isang, sa isang araw is twenty lang, and it's clear that our required behavior is thirty na cell phones assembled every day. So, we will be talking to Juan and do root cause analysis. And remember, how do we do root cause analysis? This is the five whys, sunod-sunod na mga why. doesn't necessarily have to be five whys, but as long as you um, reach the root of the issue. So, Juan, you talk, um, Juan, bakit 20 lang ang natatapos mo every day? Bakit mabagal? So, kasi, kasi sir, um, Mabagal talaga ako gumawa uh, compared to the people. So if we stop there, we don't do cost analysis, our solution would be, eh, bilisan mo. Diba? So kung bibilisan niya, hindi mo alam bakit siya mabagal pa. So you ask, uh, you now ask the second why. Bakit ka mabagal? One would answer, ex um, example ito. One will answer, kasi sir, itong part na ito, hindi talaga ako marunong, hindi pa ako marunong talaga. So, medyo mabagal talaga ako kasi nagkakamali-mali pa ako pag ina-assemble ko itong part na ito ng cellphone eh, dito sa speaker banda. Right? So, now, 
we now are getting a clear clearer answer. So, nahihirapan siya sa speaker side. Bakit ka nahihirapan? Another why. Bakit ka nahihirapan sa speaker na side? Kasi kung didiretso ka doon, you might be giving the wrong uh, you might be giving the wrong uh, what they call this, your wrong solutions. So, kasi pag hindi ka nag root cause analysis, turuan mo ulit ng speaker, hindi pala yun, pala yung hindi niya naintindihan. So, you ask na another why. And then, you will be able to get to the root cause of the problem. Sa ang banda sa speaker assembly siya, nahihirapan, alright? So now, it we aren't we have um we have an initial assessment of Juan. We know that it's a skill issue and ang kulang niya is most probably skills and knowledge, right? But hindi dapat most probably dapat alam na natin yon after the uh, after the root cause analysis. Skills and knowledge or either pwede rin, tools and resources pwede habang gumagawa siya, meron siyang ano, meron siyang parang kodigo para guide sa kanya. Pwede natin ganun ang pwede ganun ang resolution natin um, or pwedeng lagyan natin ng coach uh, na magtuturo sa kanya and gradually tatanggalin natin yan. Depende na yan sa approach natin. So at least makikita po natin na skill po ang issue for the meantime. Right? Now, that's an example. Another another example is one, bakit ka mabagal? Kasi sir, um, dati, kaya ko naman sir. So nga lang, kung magmadali ako tapos yung iba, Ang konti lang na nagagawa, tas pares lang kami ng sweldo. So, pares lang ako sa kanila. So, now it's a will issue. Alam niya paano gagawin, he, he doesn't, it's not a skill issue anymore. Pero ang situation ngayon is demotivated siya. Kasi, pares lang sila, uh, mas maraming ginagawa niya. Pero, uh, kung bibilisan niya, yung iba nga, mabagal. Ganun rin ang sweldo nila. So, it's a will issue. Or, baka may problema siya sa bahay. It's a will issue. So, it's, uh, it can be that. So, you have to know the root cause. Bakit mabagal siya magtrabaho? Right? So, once we know that if it's a skill issue, it's a will issue, then we will be, uh, we will know how to approach it on our uh, management na. This is just uh, anal- analysis. Hindi pa tayo nag approach Hindi pa tayo nag-coach ng tao. Right? So, before I go to the... Um, Performance management. Let me go to the comments really quick. Uh, good morning, sir. Your message po sa financial freedom sa Itoro. May um, itinanong po ako. Nag-email din po ako Itoro pero wala pa response. Thanks. God bless. We'll check that out. Marlo Barraro, may buntag, sir. Paano malaman na natanggap ko ng dividend sa Itoro? Sana makita. It can. It will be seen on your refunds. Okay? Alright. So, ayun. Um, now that we know if it's a skill or will, it, meron pong, there are situations na ang dalawa po ang issue dyan. Pwedeng skill, at the same time, di siya marunong. At the same time, ayaw niya. Tinatamad siya or ganito ganyan. So, it can be a, mi- a mix of both. Pero pe- meron din naman kayong mga tao na marunong and are very willing also to do. So, isa po sa mga mali sa mga managers is kasi marunong na ito at mabilis naman magtrabaho at motivated naman. Uh, hindi na nila kinakausap. Pinapabayaan lang nila. That's also bad. You have to talk to these people also and still talk to them about their performance still. Right? So, let's go to these. So, after you know that, it bo- all boils down to four types of, um, uh, four reasons of um, the uh, bad performance, right? Situation, ito na ngayon is situational performance management. So, near, now we're gonna be managing our people. Ganito po yan, right? On the, uh, we have four quadrants, upper right, upper, upper, upper right, upper left, uh, lower left, lower right, right? So, on the skill side, etong sa taas is mga can. Marunong ito. So, meaning skills nila is there, right? Um, dito sa baba namang dalawa, the skill side is saying it, they can't. So, they don't know how to do it, right? Sa baba naman is the will side. So, on this, uh, first two, um, the, uh, the left quadrants is won't, wala silang will, hindi sila willing, or not motivated, etc. Will issue naman to. On the right side naman is they are willing to do it. Okay? So, dalawa po yan. Right? Uh, dalawa pong classification niya. Um, skill and will. So, here, since he can, so he is skillful, pero on the will side, he won't. So, ayaw niya. So, eto, clear, plainly, will issue lang ito. Marunong siya, pero ayaw niya. On the um, right side, upper right side, eto naman yung willing and able. Marunong siya, and also, he is willing to do it. Motivated siya to do it. Right? On the lower left side is, ito yung unwilling. Hindi, he, ayaw, hindi, niya, hindi siya marunong at ayaw niya. Unwilling and unable. Right? And then, 
on the right, lower right is willing siya, marunong naman siya. I mean, gusto niya naman, pero unable. Wala siyang skills kasi sa babae. Eh. Diba? So, these are the four types of situation that we have. And for each situation, there's a different approach for that. So, unahin ko po is ang willing pero unable. So, usually ang mga baguhan sa trabaho, um, andito to. Gusto ko, pero hindi pa ako marunong. Right? So, our approach, it's um, color blue on the screen, just below the willing and unable. Is, uh, we approach it as a teacher. Right? Yung approach po natin, we have to be a teacher when we coach them. Right? So, what we do is we're gonna give them training, more training, further training, or provide a mentor. So, men- meaning, merong magtuturo sa kanya habang, may, habang ginagawa niya. This is so we address it properly since gusto niya naman magtrabaho pero unable lang siya. So, we address the skill issue by giving him training, um, by ano, by giving him a mentor and he should be able to perform um, and go up willing and able na siya in the future. Diba? So, yun po yung initial situation. It can develop the next coming days into a different one. Kasi pwede po yan na marunong na siya na skill. So, you thought it's a skill issue pero marunong na siya Pero ayo pa rin, mabagal pa rin. So, it now develops into a um, unwilling but able, di ba? So, it will develop na further days. But at the very least, sa unang assessment mo, dito muna tayo. Right? So, another one is um, willing naman siya. Unahin natin si willing kasi ito yung pinakamadali eh. Um, kasi pag maru- uh, gusto ng tao, madali lang tayo magturo. Right? Meron naman dito, willing and able. So, marunong siya at motivated siya. You still talk to that person. And your approach is approach it, approach that person as a partner, right? Approach it as a partner, meaning recognize my achievement, my independence, yeah. Give recognitions, right? Good job, pat on the back, right? That's very important. And then as a partner, coach to develop talent and engagement. So to develop talent and engagement, so you you teach him management skills para ma motivate naman siya. Okay, so I think you are good and on the job and also, you are very willing to do this. So, most probably, I can, uh, I can, I can develop your talent. Let's say, let's try to develop you as a manager, so you can manage skills in case that we expand at merong uh, merong uh, merong uh, what they call this merong opportunity for you to be promoted. So we'll do that. So that will further motivate the person. Pwede mong gawin na, sige, action plan natin. For the first six hours, just meet your quota. And then the next two hours of your job, pwede, ka, il, pwede kita ilagay as mentor at turuan mo itong si unang situation na willing siya pero unable. So ikaw yung magbe-mentor sa kanya. Diba dito, provide, uh, train or provide a mentor. So ikaw na yung mentor, itut, eh, bibigay ko na mentor para manturo, marunong ka rin mag, mag-mentor ng mga tao. And I'll teach you how to mentor also. So, you approach that person as a partner. Okay? Now, we go to the um, medyo challenging na. Ito yung unwilling pero able. So, he is skillful. Marunong siya. Uh, pero, unwilling. Yung not motivated, maraming drama, ganito, ganyan. So, how do you approach that? You approach it as an advisor. Okay? So, you approach that person as an advisor. Advisor, so what do you do here is medyo no 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 nonsense itong usapan ito sa kanya. So you always you talk to the person and sell the importance again of doing his job, right? Just remind them na importante ang trabaho natin because our um our performance will affect the overall output of the company and if the company's output is not met, we're going to lose money and we might lose our job sell the importance of why you should be doing this, right? Listen to why. And because you know already um, why he is um, why he's unmotivated, you listen. Bakit? Right? And then, ensure successes. Right? So, um, if ever um, he is able, he, he climbs back to willing and able, and you can uh, you can ensure that you will be training him. Um, pwede nyo i-motivate siya as partner in the future as long as he is already uh, you already see the motivation recognize efforts eh, try to recognize efforts pero yung mga forward um, only forward so we will do recognition siguro bonuses ganito ganyan isa rin yan sa mga hindi nagpapamotivate ng mga tao eh. so always recognize effort 
provide plus and negative consequences. Positive consequences, ito mangyayari pag, mangy- uh, pag nagawa mo ito, you get bonuses, remind them. Then if ever hindi nyo magagawa, since we already did a coaching for this, um, ito yung consequences, you might lose your job, etc. Uh, mawa- baka mawala ang bonus mo, uh, importante naman ang bonus mo, di ba? Sa pamilya mo, sabi mo, um, kailangan mo ng pera. So, the bonus is a very big help for you. Pag hindi ka nag-perform, mawawala ang bonus mo and that's gonna be a very big minus sa, 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 sa budget mo. So, you talk to them as, ah, uh, you talk to them that way. Okay, so you can take a screenshot if you want to. You can use this when you're man- uh, you can use this as ma- when you're managing people. This this was very important to me when I was a manager, and I was able to man um really redirect my uh my team to the right direction uh, with using the right approach. And then lastly, this is the hardest person you are gonna be dealing with uh, with your team. At yung unwilling and unable. So ayon yun nga magtrabaho hindi pa siya maruno. Okay, so this is the hardest ki- uh, kind of person. So you approach it as a director, dictator, straight to the point, right? Focus on task. Remind them to focus on task. Then plan and execute. Give a plan and also um, your execution plan. Ito yung gagawin natin. Ito yung ganito, ganyan, right? So then create small wins. So we are going to be gauging your performance from now on. And ganito mga li- malilit na wins and then... Try. Uh, you can. Uh, you can motivate them on the small wins and give recognition. Then monitor closely. Reduce support over time. So since unable din naman siya, lagyan mo rin ng mentor. Then reduce the reduce the skill issue. Address this. This is to address the skill issue and then remove that. Um, remove the mentor over time. Reduce support over time. Then possible challenging conversation or corrective action. This is what we're gonna be talking about tomorrow. Um, challenging conversations kasi ito na yung uh, ito na yung mahi, um, diretsong usapan na right so i will be uh, i will be frank with you if this happens again this is your first warning this happens again um ito yung consequences and if this happens again this you will you will be terminated there is a process to do that we will we'll most probably talk about that tomorrow possible uh, challenging conversation corrective action ito na yung di mo kailan pagalitan but Basically, direct to the point, right? Wala namang mapupuntahan kasi yung um, papagagalitan natin sila. But you have to be straight to the point. Ito yung medyo challenging na. Possible challenging conversation. Right? We'll talk about this tomorrow. But these are the type of people in your team right now. And yung mga issues nila. And this is how you manage them. So that, um, kasi if ever, um, mali yung approach ninyo. For example, willing and uh, willing naman siya pero unable skill lang but you approach it as a director so the um it will give him the wrong impression or him or her the wrong impression and then mawala pa yung motivation niya tuloy right so you have to approach this properly right so i hope this is clear and um tomorrow we're going to be talking about um, challenging conversations how do you coach how do you handle challenging employees na right so or your teammates pag-usapan po natin yan bukas again this week is gonna be about um business management um this business management na topics and in pinaka importante po ito kasi yung kulang ko noon eh i was very eager to start a business i didn't i didn't know how to manage people um so i started my business um in a rush and and then walang training walang ganito ganyan so i had so many businesses fail that's the reason why i entered the bpo kasi gusto ko matuto ng management and this is what i learned and i'm sharing to you the most important things that i've learned as a manager so very important to know how to manage people magko collapse kasi ang business niyo if hindi kayo marunong maghandle ng mga tao right so ayun ppg let's go to our main topic tapos na tayo sa topic natin ngayon uh, we'll go to our topic about stock market. Yon, lang ha. Right, sir, can you email the slides, please? Um, most probably, I'll give you. I'll put the link on the video description para sa slides, right? Uh, you can also also do screenshots if you want to. Marie replay naman ito. Jolly Gares, yan. Tingnan ko lang ulit yung mga um, yung mga requests ninyo uh, about uh, stocks. Joseph Tanel, good morning. Air Plata, good morning. Have a blessed morning. Um, Coach Pasilip, si Square by Duvia. Thanks, Coach. Right, so let's go to the stock market now since we are already done with our 
topic. I want to save the presentation. Right, I'm going to save it. Okay, um, let me open my chart really quick. So, a little, what do you call this? A little review of the market. Let me just load my chart layout. Alright, see so market. The index, PSE index, closed at 7,880 yesterday. So, yeah, one of the reasons why um, we uh, we decided na mag manage business management topics muna tayo for this week because I am seeing the market slowing down. Um, we were expecting it to drop. Okay, hindi pa ako aggressive ngayon with the recommendations and everything. It's because Ayun, market is going down still right now. So, I really want the market to stabilize. Yun yung sinasabi ko sa inyo, bodega lang tayo muna ngayon kasi mahina pa ang market. Right? So, I only have two recommendations for today. We'll talk more about your top, um, I mean, your requests and yung mga ano natin in a bit. Um, tignan natin. Yan. So, ito rin nga pala guys. Um, we are already up $136 na po ang profits natin. Uh, so, for this month, we are already up 1.23 so that's good for us sa mga nagka-copy sa akin um, but mind you I am doing long term ha uh, long term po yung investments ko so most probably uh, this will be dependent on the run of the international market so if maganda ang takbo ng P, um, na international market magpa-positive din ako because I am just holding this for long term pwede po kayong kumap uh, pwede po kayong kumopya ng mga tao na mas nagtatrade talaga right these people are trading um, more aggressive right Go to the low risk score people. These are very good traders right here. And medium risk score. Ang lalaki ng mga returns na mga yan. Look at that. 45% in last 12 months. So this is good. Okay. Um, look for these people. So those who are in the stock market. If newbie ka lang po. And you want to go into the stock market. I invite you to trade in the international market. We are trading in eToro. Nakita nyo po yung port ko kanina. Um, if you want to join. Uh, a little request from my end. Please use. Meron po dyan sa video description. A link for eToro or creating an eToro account if you use that link that will be a very big help for our channel Financial Freedom 101 para po mapatuloy po natin yung mga uh, mission po natin to teach Filipinos about financial literacy for free as much as possible <laughs> diba? um, speaking of that I'll be in South Korea this um, December 8th po yung seminar natin I created an event in Financial Freedom 101 also um, posted it in Billionaires Club so check it out if you're in South Korea I'll see you there we'll talk about advancing your strategies in trading uh, for uh, uh, for not just in the Philippine Stock Exchange but in the international market we'll also talk about eToro kasi yun yung request nila they wanna learn more about eToro so we're gonna be doing that also so I hope you can register I hope you register and I'll see you there Again, please create an account using my link po. Malaking tulong po yan. Okay, so may request kanina uh, for charts. Sino nga ba yun? Um, Square from Air Plata, SQU. So, ito si AR. Laki na ng panalo nito eh. Square Incorporated. Let's go to charts. Right, so Square Inc. Nag-break out. Um, hmm? Alright, so this is good actually. Medyo may resistance lang tayo. Air, well, we talked about this yesterday. Isang green pad that's a confirmed breakout for you. Uh, it's You can either do that, do a breakout strategy. If mag-fail, you have a secondary pullback entrance or so entry. So you can always wait for a pullback and bounce again to buy more. Okay, pwede naman po yan. So far, so good. No, Nag-momentum na siya pataas. So yes, good job for finding this air. Um, si Baidu naman... Baidu, Bidu, yung pusa kong si Bidu. Right, so still on a massive pullback. Right, this might um, this might bounce anytime soon. I think magbabounce ito today. If this bounces today, that is the uh, breakout point around that area. So malapit na tayo sa support niya basically. You can you can enter there pag nag-green yan today si Baidu. Um, Viva, right, si Viva. Ito hindi ko kilala si Viva. Viva Systems Incorporated. So, I'm gonna be talking about purely technical analysis here. We have a clear sideways um, movement. Let me just um, get a horizontal line. So, this is the support right here. And this is the resistance right here. So, ayan, um, 
by the by at the support nagre-resistance na siya so most probably babalik ito sa support sa so support ay pumasok for Viva Egan Padua good morning Sir Lloyd insights from Vita nagbounce na kahapon alright so don't be too aggressive in bounces baka paasahin lang kayo dyan no not uh, Vita not si Viva no Vita okay so Vita um hmm, hmm, hmm. so after hitting the resistance Right here, this is a strong resistance for Vita. This is our support area. Um, ang ayo ko dito is last uh, may mal, medyo malayo pa rin siya sa main support. Eh. So it's not worth it for me. I would say I will recommend Vita again on the support. I recommended Vita here and pumunta ang naman siya sa resistance because the so uh, support uh, what they call this the risk to reward ratio at this point was well worth it. Right, dito yung resistance niya, bumalik siya sa support. Right now, si Vita, I cannot recommend it. It's not worth the risk. Um, medyo maliit lang reward natin. May malakas na resistance siya. So, I could be wrong, but we're still touching the lower Bollinger Band, so it might still go back down to support for Vita. I cannot recommend Vita for today. Rebecca Tangan, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Hey, grabe si ACB, super baba na. Uh, any insights for kay ISM? Yan, yun nga eh. So, ACB is Aurora Cannabis. Yan, sobrang baba na. Right, so... Eh, yun yung sinasabi natin. Um, it might drop down. So, at least man lang, kung sa support kayo pumasok, ay, when you cut your losses, maliit lang, di ba? So, we're expect, uh, we're, we're gonna be waiting for ACB for at the next support for Aurora Cannabis. Malapit na siyang mag, RSI na buy. So, next entry, kung gusto niyo po kay ACB. Uh, I don't recommend it yet. Um, again, fundamentally good companies as much as possible. So, yeah. And insights po kay ISM. Sa ISM, green kahapon eh. But then again, it's still on the buy sig- uh, support uh, area. So, ISM is still a buy for me. I would say yes. For traders-wise, very good position right now. Very low risk. Kung saan nyo po chupitin, pwede po. Uh, for investors-wise, this is the best area to start buying if hindi pa kayo nakapagpasok kay ISM. So, swerte natin bumaba yan dyan. Kung gusto nyo mag-long term, this is the best time to buy it. Um, ISM, AC... Yan, ito mga blue chips, nagbabagsakan kahapon eh. So, pula si AC yesterday. Let's see if it, can, if it can create a support anytime soon. It might create a support anytime soon. Right? Pag nag-green yan, most probably we can test it out. Yes, that's a divergence naman na, uh, that's a divergence um, growth na, I mean, movement naman kay AC. Overall, is on a downtrend din. So, um, I'd say I want I wanted to stabilize po muna. Pero this is a good, uh, this is a, aggressively, traders can check this out pag the green yan today. That's a confirmation of a support. Pwede po yan i-trade. Right, AC, then DNR. Yun nga lang, mar- ang PSE kasi, masyado manipis ang volume. I can't really, ano. So DNL, recommended DNL at the support right here. So nasa resistance po tayo ngayon. I cannot recommend it yet. Kasi nasa resistance tayo. Pag nag-breakout, pwede natin bilhin ulit. Or either sa support. Right? Overall, okay pa naman si DNL. Napakamura na ni DNL ngayon. The company is a good company. Um, so yeah, IMI. Ito si IMI. Medyo ch- ch- tricky yung position ni IMI. Third quarter earnings are very low. So most probably mag-heavy pa ito bumaba. So I cannot recommend um, IMI also for today. Um... Jovelin Laga Palaganas. Good morning. Hi, Jovi. Uh, Alan Cabalar. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. ATN and Tugs, please. Si ATN. Yon, bumagsak si ATN. So, I'm into lo- ATN for long term. I just keep buying the dips. And then, ngayon, nag-dip na naman siya ng bonga thanks to the market. <laughs> ATN has, has been, is doing well still. So, um, yeah. Um, negative ako dito ngayon. Right? Because, uh, I was able to enter ATN here. Binenta ko karamihan dito. I was starting or starting to buy here. And I bought again on the support and bumagsak. So now I'm in the negative, but that's okay. I'm not looking for profits anytime soon for ATN since long term naman. Ever, ever since long term naman sinabi ko kay ATN. So I'm still into ATN for long term. Mag-average down ako most probably in the future um, kung saan ito pupulutin. But for now, it's still dropping. So don't buy it yet, right? If you don't want to add funds, if you don't have funds to add more, uh, and if you're into it for long term, I have a video about how to average down without adding funds. Uh, just search on YouTube, average down. 
uh, Lloyd Bazaar, makita nyo po doon paano po kayo mag-average down without adding funds. Uh, me, I'm just gonna be adding funds um, as long as it's a good company. Meron kasi yung situation na may mga company na ayaw ko mag-add funds kahit na um, kahit na ipit na ako, ayaw ko mag-average down. Uh, I can average down without adding funds. Those are for companies na I'm shaky with the fundamentals, right? So, yun po ang ginagawa ko. But for companies na um, I am convicted uh, in, I have a very good conviction in it, so usually I add funds. So, it's up to you if you want to add funds or not. Uh, ATN, um, this is question for today. Do not buy it yet. It's now down at 0.90. So, pababa pa si ATN. Wag muna bumili ng ATN. Tugs. Alright, si Tugs naman, nag niya yesterday. Still, we are at the support for Tugs. Uh, if it go, um, recommendation ko kay Tugs is budagahin nyo na po ito habang, ma, habang mababa pa si Tugs. Napakamura ni Tugs ngayon. It might go further down even. You can buy more. right? Do not be, uh, wag po kayong uh, manguhula kung bottom na ba ito or not. Right? It's not a good, um, it's not a good strategy. It's not a good practice in trading to so you just what we can do is accumulate until we meet the bottom and then once it does a reversal we already have enough stocks uh, to take advantage of the reversal hindi kasi natin alam kailan ang reversal nito eh right nagsi-signal lang yan but right now it's not uh, we don't have any signals but we're still on support area so those who haven't accumulated tags yet I will strongly recommend you accumulate tags buy some here buy some lang ha wag niyo all in never go all in falcon rush Resab, good morning coach, good morning then. Coach, bakit positive earnings ni Jerry and Aji di umangat yung tech? Yung, yung tech only bottom. Ganito po kasi yan. Um, earnings is not a guarantee na aakit ang isang stock. It still has to be about market sentiments. And smart market sentiments are really down right now. Um, Ayala Corporation, ang ganda, ng, ang ganda ng company na ito. Look at the earnings, positive 5%. Uh, second quarter, positive 146%. Pero hindi nga nakapag-angat yung 146%. Eh, so it doesn't, ma- doesn't mean na maganda ang earnings nyo, aangat ka agad. Right? Doesn't work like that. Kasi pag ganyan, ang dali lang na stock market. Okay? So it has to be the overall market sentiments. And overall market, uh, market sentiments natin ngayon is still consolidating. So we are, we cannot see climbs right away. And likes international market, yeah, kaya nga po, nga po kayo um, ini-invite sa international market is because, teka lang ha, Starbucks. Right. Kasi sa international market, all-time high ng all-time high. Look at that. Nasdaq, yeah, last night, DJI, last night, the biggest index right now, um, tumaas na naman. Si Nasdaq, tuma- positive na naman. Um, may mga, may mga nag-all-time high tayo na mga uh, what they call this, na mga, are those all-time high? No, no, no. Hindi pala all-time high. But, yeah, um, positive yung mga international market right now. SPY, Nasdaq is on a green. Also for today, DJI is on a green. And we are at resistances na naman kay DJI. So, yeah. Very good international market. Kasi nga lang, medyo mataas na ngayon international market. Um, so, trade lang muna kayo for the international market. Huwag kayong magbobodega now kasi nakalipad na international market. Right? The reason why um, sa international market green because the companies are very good. Ang ganda ng economy sa labas. It's very enticing for investors. So, PSE, medyo mahirap. Right? Mahirap po sa PSE. That's why I'm inviting you in the international market to trade there. Aristotle, uh, Aristotle pala. Aristotle, tole. Aristotle, ACDP, uh, good morning, sir. Nag-message po ako financial feed. Alright, I'll do my best to answer it today. Medyo na-busy ako this week because um, sunod-sunod yung um, travel natin. Um, this weekend, I'm gonna be there in Manila for the Investagrams event. And then after that, we will go to Mindanao for the Mangisla.org update. Uh, should you wanna know, um, si Mangisla.org, um, may project po si BFAR together with Mangisla.org. Uh, they're going to be visiting our farms um, on the 28th or 29th. 29th yung schedule eh. Um, I asked it to be 28th so hopefully mabigyan, mapagbigyan nila tayo. Um, but they're going to be ha- um, doing uh, donating yung mangis. Uh, BFAR is going to be donating um, tables for deboning para sa community doon. 
uh, since they are saying that the project of Mainsta.org is good and packet na naman ang fishing industry because of Mainsta.org. So BFAR is going to be helping us together with Mainsta.org to help the community. Right? So magdo-donate po sila ng mga, yung mga stainless na, na, na mesa uh, for deboning para sanitary po yung trabaho. Um, so yan, I'm going to be covering that and give you a full update on our fish cages, our in, uh, our investments, uh, yung mga isda na, na binili, nin, binili ninyo doon sa mangisda.org sa Mindanao. So I'm going to be there after that. And after that, diretso pa ng South Korea. And after South Korea, magbe-Vietnam pa ako after. So it's going to be a very hectic um, weeks coming for me. So medyo hindi pa ako naka, nakakasagot ngayon. Um... Barlo Baroro, may buntag Sir Lloyd, paano malaman na nakatanggap ako ng dividend sa ito at saan makikita ito? Makikita nyo po yan sa refunds ninyo um, on your portfolio. Right, so you can go to your history and then meron po dyang mga compensation, uh, refunds. Meron po kayo makikita dyan na refund. Okay, so yes, makikita nyo po dyan. Meron dito refunds. So on your history. No pending orders. And so that's where you are going to be seeing the, ano, the, uh, the what do you call this? Um, tawag dyan, um, dividends. Good, good morning, Kitch. Any bad news po kay ATN bumaba na malaki? Wala namang bad news. It's just that hindi nagsustain yung consolidation niya. Uh, that happens in the stock market, especially pag manipis ang buyers. Christian Roque, ang nangyayari kasi dyan is maraming maiinip talaga. Maraming naiinip. And then once the major support collapsed, nag-cut loss ang karamihan, especially mga chupitero ang karamihan sa market ngayon. So once cut loss are met, babagsak at babagsak yan. Rockinson, Chonko, wow, FB Live na. <laughs> right, I'm still gonna be uploading this in. YouTube today, Air Plata, Coach, may question po ako sa MP2 program. If, you, if for example, Coach, Binay, binayaran ko buo na 60k ang isang bagsakan, kailan po mag-start yung dividends niya after 5 years po ba? No, it will start yearly pero ma-withdraw mo on the 5th year pa. Right? So, you um, MP2 program is gonna be holding your money for 5 years. Pero yearly po, yearly po yung ano niya, yearly po yung tubo. Actually, dinivide nila every month yung tubo and then it totals to um um, total po niyan after 12 months ilang ilang percentage yung ano so basically monthly po ang tubo niyan uh, John Cornejo good morning Mads Mads good morning Sir Lloyd morning then Bang Bautista Concepcion good sir good day what what's with what news with ATN po there's no news for ATN naman um, not that I know of let me well, I'll have to double check news wala naman so no news for ATN still doing what it can it's just that the market is um, against it right now since hindi nagsustain haba ng consolidation ng ATN na inip most probably yung mga investors so nagtatakbuhan uh, nag sell off that's okay sir can you send me the slides alright uh, I'll post a link of the slides uh, edit ko lang yung video description later after para makita niyo po yung slides Edward Vince de Padua good morning sir Lloyd insights po kay waste management HubSpot IBM and 3M see alright uh, this is international market so let's check it out um HubSpot. Alright, HubSpot. Yun. So, I did say that HubSpot is a buy already yesterday. I hope nakapasok ka na yesterday. We are in a good support for HubSpot. This is the divergence level. So, hopefully, pinasok mo na, ano, you know, hopefully, pinasok mo na, Edward. This is a good find for you. Right? So, very good at the support already for HubSpot. Um, IBM, IBM, no, oh, sorry, IBM. It's IBM, sorry. Mukhang magsusupport, magsusupport ito si IBM. Ha? Yeah, enter to support as much as possible for IBM. Wait, um, hindi ko alam, hindi ko nakita yung third quarter earnings ni IBM. Ha? Let's, let's check it out. Ba't bang kaiba yung ano? Ka kaiba yung chart. No, I can't. I, I'm not sure. Where, yeah. Just check out the third quarter earnings of IBM. If it's good, then you can buy the support for IBM. Okay, 3M is MMM. Alright, 3M. Alright, so 3M, nag pullback na. 
Problema ko kay 3M, hindi siya nakapag-momentum talaga and touch the upper ball in Japan. So, mukhang mahina yung climb ni 3M. But the MA20 is still holding. Pag naki- may nakita kayong bounce kay 3M, you can use MA20 as your support for this one. Um, baka mag-pullback pa to na major eh, si, si, si 3M. So, this was the previous assistance. Uh, nag-breakout siya, pero hindi nag-sustain yung breakout. So... So, na nangyari, naging pullback na lang siya. Um, a bounce soon. If, if this is a bounce, then you can test out the support right here. Ang ganda ng support niya dito. It's been holding for how many days? So, yes. Use that as your support for 3M if you want to enter 3M. Joseph Tanel, Sir Lloyd, gold po pasilip at paano po makikita gold sa, pa, sa trading view? Dami kasi tapos hindi ko ma, ma, magkamukha yung candle sa eToro. So, gold in eToro is here. Okay, so... I did mention I was uh, I was gonna short gold pero I was uh, nagdalawang isip ako so I'm gonna be holding it for a long time so baka masakit yung ano yung yung ano yung overnight fees for gold so hindi ko lang si North anyways puno pa naman yung positions natin so gold 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 um it ano CFD gold CFD gold search for gold CFD right gold CFD no gold US dollar Nga ba yung ginamit namin? Ang alam ko, may CFD yun eh. Gold CFD. Gold CFD. Ayan, ito pala. Ito pinakauna. XAUUSD. Ito, CFD. Ano na? Forex. Right. No, not this one. Gold CFD. Ito, gold US dollar per ounce CFD TVC pala. Right, so ito. Ah, fail. Bakit yung ba yung chart niya? Right, so I'll get back to you on this. Ito yung... I'll get back to you on this, guys. Ano yung ginagamit sa trading view? Don't look this look at this that much kasi I usually use uh, yung chart lang ni... I uh, usually use chart lang ni... Ano, ni ni Itoro. Alright, I'll ask the traders, um, yung mga kaibigan kong traders, uh, what, they, what they use for uh, CFD. Right? Um, Mad Sir Lloyd, sa international market po, JPM, time check, it's 9.16. We're gonna be, uh, we're gonna be uh, stopping at 9.25. Sir Lloyd, sa international market po, M, JPM, and Twitter. Ah, oh, before I go to that, unahin ko muna yung picks ko. Dalawa lang naman picks ko ngayon. Alco and Axelum. Right, so Alco, Right, so Alco, nag-pullback na and look at that. Perfect MA20 bounce again after Bollinger Band triggers. If you don't know how to use this, Bollinger Band and MA20 bounce. And dyan po sa video description, check out Bollinger Bands and MA20. And that's why I love this yellow line. So, ayan po, um, umaakit na siya. And we have a confirmation. So, I'd say yes, uh, after good earnings, 205%. Um, Alco is starting to a uh, momentum. Uh, you can test it out. Use the MA20 as your support for Axel. I mean, for uh, Alco. Axelum naman, iniintay ko yung bounce ni Axelum. I told you I'm gonna be recommending it once I find a support. And there it is. We have good supports. This is backed up by good earnings. 32% for the third quarter ni Axelum. So, yes, double bottom support. Test it out, right? You can go aggressive on this. It is a bearish, uh, it is a bearish pattern. But this is a good company and we are backed up by good earnings. So I can I will recommend you test buy on this, buy more on the breakout and then on the next pullbacks then before you go all in. Okay? So test buy for Axelum and Alco. Right. So Mads Mads has a request. International market was si M. Let's check out M. Macy's Incorporated. Uy, nag-touch na upper Bollinger Bands. Um, RCYs is okay. Okay, so what you do is wait for... This is the same scenario I've been talking to you about. Um, at least sinasabi ko lagi sa inyo. After Bollinger Band triggers, like this one right here, look at the MA20, the line in between. So, do natin sa saluin yan. So it's now um, creating new resistance and then you know where to what, wait for it at the pullback MA20 on this line right here. So abangan po natin, right? Um, JPM, JPM, JP Morgan, si JP Morgan, 52 week high ba ito? All time high. 
Perfect. Taka all-time high lang pala ni JP Morgan. Amazing. So, um, these are the good companies you can get into in the international market. But for these, nasa taas na po yan, I strongly recommend you wait for JP Morgan to create pullbacks, massive pullbacks like this, like this, para po si Microsoft yan, nagre-recover din po yan kaagad. Right? So, JP Morgan, well, let's wait for the dip. Huwag nung natin nahabulin yan sa taas. At po yung sinasabi ko kay Microsoft lagi. Right? So, if Microsoft dips, you buy it because it's a good company and umakit at umakit po yan kahit na magluko si President Trump. Um, Microsoft is still gonna you up. The world is still gonna use Microsoft. So, yes. Um, it's, still, it's still gonna go up. Right? So, Ayan, isa rin si JP Morgan. So, wait for the dips. Pag nag-dip yan ng bongga, pasaluin nyo. Wag, wag doon sa taas. Please don't get it up there. Twitter. Alright, sa so Twitter, mukhang okay na yung support ni Twitter. Ah. Right, you, you can test out the support of Twitter. Anyways, low risk po siya. Major supports po yung levels niya. You can test out the support for Twitter. Hopefully, it sustains. Just make your, sure you do your cut loss. Sir, Xalom. This is from John Paul Sikat. Recommended ko yan today. Aristotle, sir, nag-message ako sa inyo about Itoro at nag-email din po. Walang response. Right? I'll check that out. I'll do my best to check it out today. Si Google, sir, please. Let's check out Google. Right? For international market, guys, kung hindi kayo makarelate, uh, join us in the international market. We're trading in the international market because it's so nice to trade here. Look at Google. Kaka all-time high lang ni Google. Right? Nagpo-pullback na siya. Um, same with my JPM recommendations. Just wait for Google to do major dips, dips, dips. And antay natin yung dip ni Google. It's a very good company. So, kahit na bumagsak yan ang dip mo, doon natin pasukin. Mas safe doon kaysa dito sa taas. Huwag nyo na pong haabulin yan dyan sa taas. Right? Uh, Beth Bar- Burgilos, Burgilios, Heiser Insights on Nickel. Alright, let's check out Nickel. Balik tayo sa PSE. Alright, si Nickel mukhang pababa pa. Alright, one of the reasons why I did not recommend Nickel is because taas na ng galaw niya. Alright, Nickel is going down. Let's wait. Sana natin, ano, sana natin pwede itong uh, masalo. Rockinson, Chanko, Sir Pasilip po ang Bloom. Mustahin din natin si Bloom. Alright, si Bloom. Alright, so we're waiting for the next pullback kay Bloom. We talked about Bloom on this support. We recommended it here. Um... Antay lang tayo ng next na pullback ni Bloom uh, before we wanna enter Bloom. May resistance na tayo eh. Huwag na natin habulin dyan sa taas. Right? Baka maipit lang tayo dyan. Pullback and bounce at the very least kung gusto nyo pumasok kay Bloom. Fabian Dizon, sir, in the insights for FLI. FLI. Range trade lang to sa FLI eh. Kung bumaba, bilhin nyo. Tapos benta nyo naman sa taas. So, nasa baba na naman tayo. If, kung mapansin nyo po ang pattern ni FLI, Ganun lang po ang pattern niya. Right? So, if it dips, you start accumulating. Sell, buy, sell, buy, sell, buy, sell. Nasa buy levels na naman tayo. FLI, I will recommend accumulating FLI right now. Especially now now that it's doing well. Third quarter earnings, negative 6 niya. But second quarter is positive 6. And annual earnings niya is maganda naman. First quarter is very high. Annual earnings niya is still positive. So, Yes. Um, FLI, we are reaching buy levels, so I will recommend start accumulating. Um, IH Flux, sir, good morning. See you hopefully this coming December 8 at Shoal. Kahit na medyo malayo ako, I'll try my best to attend. Thank you from Yangsan City. I hope you can join, alright? I really hope you can join. Minsan lang ako makapunta dyan. <sighs> napagastos pa ako kasi bumili ako ng winter. May nagpadala kasi sa akin si user Lord, tapos binigyan niya ako ng picture na napaka-icy doon. Nako, this is my first time to see snow. So, yung the child in me is very excited. <laughs> so, I'll see you there. I'm really excited to see you guys. Salamat po punta dyan. Aberdeen, Joseph Michaela, naapay uh, pag-asa ang now for long term, Sir Lloyd. May pag-asa pa ba si now for long term? May pag-asa naman siya umakyat, pero I don't think aabot siya ng 20, 18, 11, anytime soon. Right? Basically, now is a good company. Maganda na may earnings niya, third quarter. Now might even climb today because of the third quarter earnings na release nila. But, yun, if ever you wanna ask me, if ever average yung 11, I cannot say if it's gonna go back up to 11. If ever ipit po kay, kay now, just go to my video about how to average down. Uh, now, now for sure it's gonna go up and down, up and down. So whenever it goes up, sell some, then buy, use that money to buy some when it goes back down. Right? 
Sir, any news po with ATN? Wala naman from Bank Conception. Alan Tige, sir, okay pa basukin sa Microsoft and Apple. Sa so Microsoft kasi ang mataas na. I cannot recommend it. Next dip na lang. Pinasa ko si Microsoft kasi on the dip. Eh. MSFT. Um, pinasa ko siya on the dip right here sa support niya. So, support ko pinasok si Microsoft. Um, nakalipad na. I don't want to hype you on, on this. It's not nice to. Nafofomo lang kayo. Huwag kayo maingit. Right? It will dip in the future. Just wait for the dip and then just buy it. Also, Apple. Huwag na po kayo maingit dyan. Nakalipad na po yan. Dapat noon pa natin pinasok si Apple. Right? So, look at that chart. Palipad ng palipad. Pero if you notice, yung palayo siya ng palayo sa Bollinger Bands niya. Meaning, nawawala na yung momentum niya. So, it's not nice to enter there anymore. Let's wait for Michael Apple to do a dip again. Then, that's where we buy it again. Okay? Ed Crisologo. Good morning. Edward Vince de Padua, IBM, PayPal, and Starbucks. Sir Lord, most probably this will be the last. Kasi it's already 9.25. IBM. We covered IBM already. PayPal. Ito si PayPal. Ito si PayPal. Ayun, support ni PayPal. Just enter the support of PayPal. PayPal is a good company to enter. Right? Um, Starbucks, Sbox. Starbucks. I'm also into Starbucks. I'm negative 3.40. But we have a possible support for Starbucks. Dito po tayo sa support pumasok kay Starbucks. Right? Um, mukhang reversal na si Starbucks. Um, ayun. Um, Miguel Ol Olayer. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. Next time, sana may topic na maximizing your savings tulad ng maaga pagbayad ng property tax kasi may discount and baka may iba pa po kayo ma-advise regarding ganun. Uy, very good Re recommendation from Miguel Olaya. Right, so, yeah. So, um, most probably pagpunta ko ng South Korea yun matatapik ko because I'm gonna be having a hard time um, um, doing daily grind and checking the charts when I'm there. So, it's probably we're gonna make a live video about this. I'll write this down para hindi ko makalimutan, okay? Alright, so thank you for this uh, recommendation, Miguel. Right, So, yun po pag-uusapan natin one of these days. Alright, so that's it for today. I hope marami po yung natutunan. Tomorrow, we're still gonna be talking about managing your businesses. Para naman po, pag nagsimula na kayo ng business, you won't do the mistakes that I did when I started my business at nagtapon lang ako ng pera. Alright, so that's it for today. I'll see you again tomorrow. As always, let's get rich together. Bye everyone.